driving. And we are in the express lane. Mm-hmm. Campus express lane. Hey, there's a clown for hire over there. We got Alan Fist saying we're the, they're probably calling my that number. That's amazing. Yeah. Where are those guys? Supposed to be there 36 minutes ago. Really? Yeah. Well, at first we get there, we will unload all of our stuff. The physical therapy students that we are sailing with will grab our stuff, hopefully, put it what we need on the boat, and then the rest of the stuff will go on the pontoon boat, all of the camping gear. Put in plastic bags so it doesn't get wet. Once everything is ready and we leave the dock, then we sail down there. There'll be about, I don't know, nine or ten boats going. Uh, we sail down, depending on the wind, it could take anywhere from five to eight, nine hours. The island, all the stuff gets unloaded, all the disabled folk get carried off. If the tide is low, that's always a challenge because there's a big gap between the boat and the wall. It's not a floating dock. So hopefully we'll get there at high tide. I did not check when the tides are because they're different everywhere. And that's always a challenge too for the, some of the people way a little bit more than others. Yeah. So I've tried keeping my weight down just to make it easier on other people. <laughs> Students get to the equipment committee start setting up the tents. So they set up our tents first and make sure everything's set, then they do their own. They're not allowed to tap the keg until everybody has their duties done. Oh, there's a keg? Is there beer? Yeah, but it's light beer. I have to set up the, the charcoal and everything and get that going. There's also an entertainment committee. Night, after everybody's eaten dinner and there's a big bonfire and a, drank quite a few beers for those people that drink. We perform our skits. Mm. It's a lot of fun. Is there light at the end of this tunnel? Markers, you try to cut through there, you can run aground. Because the, the environmental protection people are so finicky that they claim that the, the keels on the boat can damage the seagrass and Jake the Lake can get sued and pay fines and whatever. So we don't want to run aground. Don't run aground. That's the bottom line. All right, anybody got any last questions? All right. Any last comments? Lou, any last thing we need to know? No, I think it's a lovely day.
I think we do want to pull the stern in. Mr. Murphy getting onto the boat with his harem, apparently surfing. I mean, sailing with all the ladies today. Trying to find out now. Right. Try it again. I'm good. Good with that? Yeah. All right. Be okay for you? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. All right. One, two. Uh, what is that doing there? Huh. 
Alright. Hold on, you want to close that clamp, doll. Right there, close that. Once that sail goes on, we have to close it. Sit. Go ahead and pull, pull the rope, though. Pull that rope. Give that the sail came down. Yeah, pull that rope. Go ahead and pull. No, no, no. I think you can pull it without a depth. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess you can't. It might be the other side you're supposed to pull. I don't know. All right, now jack that down. There you go. When you get down to the end. You gotta be careful. You don't confuse this 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 marker or this marker with this guy. I'm gonna be hanging out here and down here. Right? If you try to cut through here, you're gonna run aground. Right? To do what? The tiller? Tina. Alright, I can do the tiller. Watch what this guy's doing. That's the, I always go to school where the guys are playing. So you see how we're going to do it. Okay. Alright, two minutes! Two minutes! <laughs> how we doing? I'm waiting for reps. She's going to be responsible for keeping that. I got it. Yep. What time is it? I just want to, I'm curious to know how long Hey, 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 wait till you get out there. Sit down. Stay down, stay down. Oh, my God, Danny, really? There you go. I don't want to be hitting a yacht. I am just want to get to how close we are to these mega yachts. Oh, my God. Only a couple million. Don't worry. I'm going to cry. Two minutes into the trip. Get it over with.
fearless crew. Uh, And your Murphy safely in his chair. Oh, you know your wish here? No, it's not Let's get you away from the water. All right. All right, you're safe now. <laughs> Watch you. Oh, you. Best crew ever. Loving the crew. Yeah. Do we want to take this one? This guy? That's our new home. Look good to you, Mr. Murphy. Well, let's look inside. All right. Let's see what our digs are. Okay. It sure looks like we got all the comforts at home. I think I'm just going to leave that just like that. That's frightening. Pulled, pulled chicken. <laughs> Ooh, pulled uh, chicken. Nice. Yeah. And how about you over chicken there? Chicken and veggies. Yeah, I saw the fire flaming coming <laughs> yeah. out of the What's up? How's it going? How are you feeling today? Oh, man. She's been great. Yeah? How I was your sail trip? 
it was it's, well until you guys let us aground. No, that's not awesome. true. <laughs> um, but you know, then I got a chance to get in the water, right? The boat. Yeah, that's good. So, so right, you got to cool off a little. Yeah, exactly. Nice. All right, what are you looking forward to most for tonight? Um, I'm looking forward to... You guys got a skit? You guys got a we, rap? Yeah, we have a skit. Uh -huh. Um, I think it's just gonna be interesting having nine people sleeping in one tent. That should be good. That'll be crazy. Um, All right. And, yeah, we'll see. All right, sounds good. Yeah. All right, thanks. Say hello so to the camera. Fun. Hi, kids. Hey, guys. Hi. What's going on? Some really good chicken Ooh, here. let's get a close-up. Not too close okay, to the flames. Skin. All right. My stomach's on fire. Awesome skipper. Oh, yeah? Who's your skipper? Uh, it was Rob. Rob. And we are planning our wrap today for your Ooh, entertainment. Ooh, you want to give us a little sneak peek? No, I can't give it away. You can't give it away? I can't give it away, cool. <laughs> no, but we had such a good time. Oh, and we had like a pirate war. A pirate war? A pirate war of squirt guns. I heard you guys went swimming twice. Yeah, we had to pee so bad. That's probably why you were last. <laughs> we had to pee. Well, that's good. What are you most excited for tonight? S'mores. S'mores. <laughs> People's skits are, or um, dances, or raps. I really like nice. s'mores. You had to eat s'mores. Yeah. Obs, did we oh, talk yet? <laughs> Jumping off the boat two times. That's good. Arm, you know, all four of us together. Wow, that's yeah. that's it serious teamwork. Moment, yeah, yeah, you know what? I like to see that. Yeah, what was your favorite part? Yeah, let's check it out in with Nico. What's going on, bud? My favorite part was being on the water all day. Oh, yeah? Did you and, get some uh, sun? A pirate war. Oh, cool. I heard it. Somebody else has talked to me about that. It sounds interesting. that was Carly. Yeah, I think so. So... Peace. Great. Looks like we'll check Peace in with uh, Christine. Oh, that's really cute. Good. That's, that's yeah, really like good. That. Good Can you do a shadow Thank one with Sure. Do the face display on my computer. Dude, it looks even cooler on camera than it does like looking at it. Wow, that was awesome. See? <laughs> he's got the he's got the vocals down. I think that's what they want me to do. <laughs> we didn't really finalize it. Are you guys doing a rap also? We might, yeah. All right. We'll that was a little was that a little sneak preview. I want to do brick wall waterfall. Mickey thinks he's got it all, but he don't. And I do. So boom with that attitude. <laughs> I like I like that. I've never heard that before. What is that that you're singing? I'm not Waterfall, it's a rap? Yeah, if you ever seen this movie called Dicky Roberts, former child star, it has David Spade and oh, Leif Garrett and Screech <laughs> from, and they're all these former child stars. <laughs> he's trying to get a role with Rob Reiner, so he goes and he lives with his family because he's never really had a family that he stayed with. You know? <laughs> and so they do this little rap in the movie. It's hilarious. That's awesome. Yeah. Karen, tell her what you're singing. What are you singing? It's here? top secret. Videos rolling. Oh, Casey PD always ready for the camera. Always. Always. What's up? Juan, how was dinner? Excellent. What was your favorite part? The chicken was great. The chicken was great? I was going to say the company. Okay. <laughs> I like pictures. Lou, what was your favorite part of dinner? Cooking. Cooking. You're on. has been hereby authorized to shoot the first ever in the history of Shaking Like You Miami PT camp out sailing trip, the bonfire at Chico. Boca Chica. Look at this shot. If you were a superhero, how would you save them? Bachelor number two. If you were an animal, what animal? <laughs> Bachelor number three. <laughs> if I were an ice cream cone, Ooh. how would you eat me? <laughs> Back to Bachelor number one. Doesn't he win? <laughs> if you won a million dollars today, what would you do with it? 
Number two, if you were to describe yourself in one word, what would it be? Scrumptious. <laughs> Alright, number three, we're going to go back on this one. If you were to win a million dollars today, what would you do with it? Uh, number three. <laughs> Hey, look at me. It's so much fun. We had a great time. <laughs> all right, and then the other is I want to thank all the captains cause that, and the skippers because how many people have really learned what the essence of the class is? Besides teamwork, <laughs> the idea of I think most of you have kind of been blown away the capabilities of people, regardless of their mobility, of what they can do on the water, what they do away from the water and uh, their daily lives as you chatted with them. And I think that these skippers have probably impacted your lives, have changed how you perceive people. And if you take away anything from this class, the idea is that as you go on to your careers, you're going to raise your expectations for all the patients and people that you treat. 
and that these fine folks have helped people for generations to come that they'll never meet. And for that, I really want to thank all the skippers and give them a big hand. It's so true. I got to tell you is that through the years, I get to travel a little bit, and there's so many U of M grads that will come up and they will say, you know that class, because of that, we now have a program for skiing or kayaking or so, and some sailing programs around the country, and it's because you instill that motivation. So on the way back, please thank your skippers and, and thank everybody that's involved. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you so much.